So welcome to the first episode of our vlog, The Tiny Narrowboat. We've done it. We didn't have to look for too long and we've managed to find the right boat for us. She's been surveyed and she's good to go and we're off to collect her now. The journey begins. We're collecting her from the Barbridge Marina and from there we've got a full-on four-day journey to get to our mooring on the Leeds-Liverpool Canal. This is Issy, our 25-foot narrowboat. She's a Venetian 25 and she was actually made here in the blue shed that you can just see on the screen at the back right now. She was made in 1989 by Mick Sivright and this is where her journey began. Oddly enough, it's where our journey is going to begin also. After a brief delay, Issy is going back in the water and we can crack on with our journey. First stop, Venetian for some diesel. And we're off. Five hours later than planned, but we're on our way. A little bit daunting because we've never really had a narrow boat before. And the Canal Plan website says this trip's gonna take four days and two hours. Now we've got three and a half days and we've really got to press on and see what we can get done. As you can see, the light's failing us. We're trying to push on as much as we can. This is our first proper lock that we got to do on our own. It's quite fun, really. We've had to call an end to our first day. As you can see, it's getting dark. We don't really know what we're doing just yet and we don't want to take any chances. The canal plan says we should have finished up on the Trenton Mersey today. As it happens, we're just at the end of the Shropshire Union Canal. Not too far away, probably two hours behind what we should be. We're about four hours into day two. It's been horribly rainy. We got through five locks. And at this point, we've just been through Barton Tunnel. It was our first ever tunnel. We didn't know what to expect, so we didn't film it because we just wanted to give it our full attention. We're now at Saltersford Tunnel, and after this we've got the Preston Brook Tunnel. Not much point to this little walk. We missed the cut-off for the tunnel, which is on the hour till 20 past, so I went for a bit of a wander to see where I could find. I like to consider myself a good driver, but let's just say it's a bloody good job I paid attention in the first tunnel. Watch what happens now as we enter this one. Come 
morning. This is the start of day three. As you can see, this is behind me. And just above me, if I can work this bloody camera, you will see that is Dursbury Chemical Plant, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know. Uh, it's really early. It's just after six. Well, about half past six now. So we need to crack on and try and get as much done as we can in this day as possible. Catch you later. We've now gone along the Bridgewater Canal. We're actually past Altrincham and into Sale. Wifey made us tea and toast. It was nice to sit on the back of the boat and enjoy the view as we chug along. I must say the Bridgewater isn't my favourite canal. Not very much happening and it's a little bit grim in parts. I think I'd better speed this bit up. This is Plank Lane Swing Bridge, thought it was really cool. We had no idea how to work it, but the wife soon figured it out. Hello again, we've come inside because it's so dark. We've cruised for 10 and a half hours today, done 35 miles, gone from Daresbury through Stockton Heath, Lim, Altrincham, Sale, Trafford, down to Lee, and we're now currently in Abram near the Doverlock pub. Uh, it's been a busy day, as you can see by my face. I've got windburn, but at least it wasn't pouring down like it was yesterday. So anyway, tomorrow, We've got to tackle the Wigan flight. We've got 23 locks and we're about half an hour away from there. So I'll report back tomorrow when the uh, fun begins. Bye for now. This is day four, last day of the trip. It's been so rainy and horrible that we've really not filmed much. It's just, it's just been hard enough getting through it, let alone getting the camera out and filming it. We have got a GoPro now, so we'll be able to get more footage. This is us on the Wigan flight. Thank goodness we bumped into a guy called Dave who worked on the towpaths and he brought a few friends along to help us conquer the Wigan flight. Thanks to the helping hands we managed to get through the Wigan flight in three and a half hours which is great. We've learned a lot on this trip though. Don't wear woolly gloves and hats and don't wear jeans when it's absolutely pouring it down. Waterproof trousers have been ordered now and hopefully for next time we'll be much more prepared. We finally made it back to our marina. It's been one hell of a trip. Thank you for coming along with us. Please like and subscribe. See you next time for a boat tour.